Okay. Welcome, welcome to our district governor, Dr. Mm. Pavita. Good evening to all. Good evening. Good and evening. with your permission, shall we start? Because we have to end yeah, by seven. Yeah, yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. Okay. So, so lead, leaders yes. of District 3240, mm -hmm. very good evening to all of you. The District Literacy Committee extends a warm welcome to all of you and thanks each one of you for taking out time to join today's program. <clears throat> the leadership and commitment that you had demonstrated while working on the Nation Builder Awards was, a very, was of a very high standards, to say the least. Thanks to you, we are today standing at 118% of our target, 118% achievement of our target, and we have still five more months to go. So we will achieve much more in the year. So what it means is the Rotarian Tigers across the district have tasted blood. And we, are, we have the hunger to do more. We are high on confidence and on our dedication across the district. And we are on the prowl for greater glory. Therefore, the District Literacy Committee considers it a foregone conclusion that the program we are about to launch today will be a stupendous success. Lakshya e-learning by Baiju's is the world's largest digital e-learning program. Rotary India Literacy Mission has tied up with Baiju's for the e-learning initiative, which has been named Lakshya Scholarship, powered by Baiju's. The sheer numbers, by sheer numbers, this is India's largest digital scholarship program. Our district is adopting the program today, where we are targeting 2,500 students across 100 schools. That is our target. On behalf of the District Literacy Committee, I invite our district governor, Dr. Kushanava Pavi, to formally launch the program and address all of us. After that, we'll go through a presentation, a detailed presentation about what this program is and how, what are the processes involved in this, uh, in this program. Thereafter, we'll keep about 10 minutes in the end for a Q&A session and we will end this program by 7.30. So this moment has arrived and I request Dr. Kushanava Pavi to kindly launch this program. And Danny, please get in, uh, give us the slide. Okay, just a minute. Yeah, it's online. Pavita. Yeah. You're the, you're the. Yeah. Good evening, my dear fellow Rotarians. Today is a memorable day for us, for all of us in Rotary District 3240. Actually, today, as you have heard, we are in the launching pad of Luxure Scholarship Program. It is an e-learning program of Rotary India Literacy Mission powered by Baiju's. It's the largest digital e-learning program, the national scholarship for students from class four to class 12. The qualifying students will be awarded with Baiju's program of audiovisual, curriculum-based, content-based license for three years, which is worth of almost 80,000 rupees. Just imagine the impact it will create. It is a part of total literacy in India. And I hope all of us will be very proud of being a part of it. And I just take the honor of declaring the uh, scholarship program open from this moment. Over to you. Over to you, Partha. Right. Thank you very much. The program is hereby launched. And can I have the next slide, please, Danny?
That's it. We have named it the Lakshya Scholarship powered by, by Jews. The next slide, please. <coughs> so briefly, uh, this is the world's largest uh, e-learning app. And it's a premium app called Think and Learn. It works on tablet and or smartphone. And it gives study materials for classes from class four to class 12. Unlimited practice sessions are there. And at the back end, Baiju's will also evaluate uh, the progress of the students from time to time. <clears throat> Can we have the next slide, please? So what this program is, what is this program all about? It has been launched nationwide and scholarships are for three years. It is a three years scholarship. So if you are taking a class five student, class five, six, and seven, or if you have just finished about class five, that's six, seven, and eight. However, for class 11 and 12, it will remain two years because after that they go to, they go to college. It's India's largest digital scholarship act, and it provides audio visual premium content for all boards. They're mentioning all boards, but I will clarify this later. Scholarships can only be provided through a Rotary Club and no other. So the club would approach the school they wish to sponsor. And the school will select five classes between four, class four and class 12. It could be class five, class seven and class eight or class nine that way, any, any, any five classes. They select five academically performing students from each class and the student would have access to smartphone or tablet. That is a prerequisite. And thereafter, a very important part is that the parents' consent is required to avail the scholarship. So uh, commercially, commercially it is available. This program is available. It is approximately 80,000 rupees per license. We are getting it at 1,000 rupees per license, which means uh, if we have 25 students in one school, it is worth 20 lakhs of license that you're providing in one school. Whereas we will have to shell out only 25,000 rupees, 1,000 into 25, 25,000 rupees. And this too, this 1,000 rupees also is, is it's to, uh, is to fund the backend operations and RILM's administrative expenses. Can you have next slide, please, Danny? For grades four and five, we have maths and science. For grade six to eight, we have maths, physics, chemistry, biology, history, geography, and civics. And from nine to 12, we have maths, physics, chemistry, and biology. For grades 11 and 12, we have economics, business studies, accountancy, statistics, maths, and commerce. It's loaded with scholastic content from national, uh, from central and the state uh, boards. So the central boards are CBSC and ICS, ICSC boards. State boards are these that you see on the screen. And uh, relevant to us in the Northeast, uh, sorry, in the East of India, in our district is the West Bengal, West Bengal State Board. Unfortunately, the other state boards are not available yet. However, we have taken up this matter with the chairman of RILM, Kamal Sanghiji, and he has assured that uh, more state boards will be added very soon. English is the default language uh, for this app. However, you can choose from the following languages that you can see on the screen. Next slide, please. 
So we have uh, the beneficiary and we have the sponsor. So the beneficiary is the school actually, and the sponsor is the Rotary sponsoring Rotary Club. So the first step to be taken by the beneficiary is to submit the parental consent form. And once the student is selected, the details of the students would, would be uploaded in the portal. The, the form is available, uh, format is there, and uh, that form needs to be filled up. The license will be activated by Baiju's after the student's name is given. The Think and Learn Premium app will be installed on the, on the device, the smartphone or the tablet device. Login can be done with the phone number of that student. Training on usage and app of the app is available on the portal itself. And as I said before, the academic progress will be tracked by Baiju's from the backend from time to time and progress reports will be generated. Progress reports will be given. Now, everything is, your only focus is rotaryteach.org. Our portal rotaryteach.org. You go to the portal rotaryteach.org, you'll see the uh, banner. On the banner, you'll see Lakshya Scholarship by Baiju's. You click on that, uh, you click on that link. And thereafter, this, this screen appears. This is the home page of this is the home page of the Rotary Lakshya Scholarship. And thereon, firstly, you have to go and the club has to go and register themselves. If the club has already been registered, can we just keep on that slide, please? Yeah. If the club has already re registered due to uh, some prior activities, then the club needs to just log in. As of now, the president and the secretary has, uh, has login access by default. However, if any club has not uh, registered on this site, they can register by clicking on the register button. Once the club is registered, the school names need to be uh, entered and the school needs to also register and log in. Everything is happening on this portal. <clears throat> Next slide, please. <clears throat> so this is the page that appears and the registration process is given. Now I will not explain the registration process right now uh, because of the paucity of time, but uh, tutorials are available through the link that you see on the bottom of this, of this presentation. Right. But I would uh, briefly tell you that how to log in by a Rotary Club. You go to rotaryteach.org. You go, you click on the lecture scholarship uh, part and then you log in or register and then you put in your district club name and uh, on your mailbox, there will be an auto generated email and uh, your email and there will be a password given. Then you add the school. Once you, uh, once you click on adding the school, the school is added successfully. Similar procedure for the schools, they will log on to they will go to rotaryteach.org. They will click on Lakshya Scholarship. They will log on, either log on or register. And automation mail by default, you get a default password. From then you log in your email ID, you log in with your email ID and password. You accept the terms and conditions, select any five classes, add the beneficiaries, fill in the details, and the students are automatically added to the portal successfully. Uh, you, can, uh, you can go through the process of this very detailed and very lucid way it is given in, uh, in various tutorials on YouTube. 
the link is down below in, on the screen. So as I said below, uh, as I said earlier, for grades five and six maths and science, this I will not repeat. Content, state boards, yeah. And these are the resources available in various languages. Click on resources to access the audio visual guide on using the app. Yeah. We will be there to support you always. And uh, you can contact uh, down below on each slide you are seeing a helpline. That helpline, you can call up that helpline. You can ask for the RILM coordinator, Ritu Kedia, and she will help you. Otherwise, we have our coaches for e learning for the Northeast region, Rotarian Rudrajit Laskar. And for the Bengal part, we have Rotarian Siddhartha Dev Mukhopadhyay. And of course, I am always at your service. Whenever you want help, please do not hesitate to get in touch with me. That is about it so far as the presentation is concerned. And I throw open for any discussion or questions that you might have. And I would like, I would try my best to address them. Sir, this is Rajiv Gun from Rotary Korla Valley, Jalpaiguri. Right. Good evening. So, uh, very good evening. Uh, so, in the in the beginning, you told there are two. We will be giving scholarship to two thousand five hundred students and hundred schools. So, this is fixed, or it is uh, we can change it. Uh, Rotarian Rajiv, uh, this is a target that the district literacy team had taken. Okay. Has taken, yeah for providing 2,500 uh, number of licenses encompassing 100 schools. Mm -hmm. That is the target that the district has taken. Yeah. yeah. It is not, it is not, not something that is fixed. If, if we do, if we do 3,000, I would be happier. Okay. So another question to me, to you is, uh, under Rotary Kerala Village Jalpaiguri, uh, there is a Rotary Act, Dreamers and Tours. They are mainly into education. They teach the students uh, every Saturday uh, to all the schools because the students are going for the HS or 10th uh, ten, exam. So if 100 licenses can be given to this Rotary Act, Dreamers and Doers officially, then it would help us to increase the literate, uh, literacy rate of Jalpaiguri district. Yeah, it is a very, uh, very um, nice idea. However, these licenses can be activated only through a Rotary Club. So you could take up your club, your own club could take up uh, these licenses for the various schools that the Rotary Actors would have identified. It is meant for the schools, which will have a central board or CBSE or ICSE board or a state board. In your case, it would be West Bengal State Board. And the, 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 the amount that you are telling, 1,000 per license, the, the yeah. amount will be given by the Rotary Act only. No, the amount, is, the, the amount is given by, um, by your club. Uh, your club would give that amount. Now, in this case, 25, 25 number of licenses because of some analytics issue in the back end at Baiju's, they insist on exactly 25, 25 per school. The exactly five students per class in exactly five classes. Total 25 number of students. 24 is not acceptable. 28 is not acceptable. You need to have 25 licenses per school. Uh, because so, from, from, this, from January 1st, 2023, uh, after mm -hmm. this Rotaract was formed, we have taken the ownership of one of the most uh, poorest school where the students, uh, parents, uh, they are below poverty line. So we mm -hmm. Rotaract uh, from our fund, we give them books, we provide them teachings. Uh, so if for this Rotaract, dreamers and doers, if at least 25 licenses can be given officially, then mm -hmm. that, that school, we, because we have taken that ownership of the school. 
that we will develop this school in two to three years. Okay, All where right. number of there are, there are a lot of dropout students because you can understand uh, lack right. of food. So if this can be done officially, that's amazing. Uh, we will find out. We'll try and find out a way how to, we can do this. All right. Perfect. Perfect. We'll sir. talk. Thank you very we'll much. We'll talk. Uh, yeah. We'll talk as we go along, and we'll find out a way how we can do this. Thank you, sir. Sure. Thank you. Is there any restriction on number of schools to be adopted? There is absolutely there is absolutely no restriction. No restrictions. Yeah, okay. but the club uh, club has to pay rupees twenty five thousand per school. Okay. So if you want to do two schools, you have to pay fifty thousand rupees. Right. So the club is the sponsor. You can take up as many schools as you want. Okay. So a school can also sponsor it. The school. Yeah. Suppose no, it's a, it's, a, it's a it's a club sponsorship program. Okay. We are providing this free of cost to the schools. Okay. To the needy schools, government, semi-government schools. The idea is to provide this facility free of cost to them. And we take up we take up the ownership of funding. Right. Here I would like to also say the vice versa is also true because in some areas where uh, there is a small club with um, few 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 members. Two clubs can get together and sponsor one school. Okay. That is also possible. Right. Yeah. Thank you. Partha, there is a question on chat. Question on chat? Yes. Is there any restriction on num number of licenses for each club? Or is it the first come, first serve basis? There is absolutely no restriction. But you should know that uh, a batch of 25 students per school. So a club can go on and adopt uh, as many schools as they want. Hi, this is Arvin. Good evening, Rotarian Arvind. Uh, good evening. Uh, it is restricted to only uh, government schools and semi-government schools or, or private also? Uh, that, that is the thin line. Uh, they have not mentioned. You can go ahead with private schools also. That's not mentioned. However, as, as, as Rotarians, it is our... Um, we, uh, I think we should access the need... If somebody can afford it, a premium school, if we can, if the school can afford it, uh, why not channelize that fund to a school that needs the fund, you know? Actually, so I was limited to only government and semi-government schools. Yes, government, semi-government schools, but here it is not, uh, it is not ex explicitly mentioned. Okay. You can go ahead, one or two. Another question is there on chat. Okay. Will this be a will this be a group class or an individual class? It's a very interesting question. Somebody can please can you mute your mics? I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Uh, thank you. Right. Uh, now, uh, the essence is that the school, uh, the, the student takes home, takes home this app, you know. So it is not a group activity, it is an individual activity. The individual student uh, is provided with the app on his laptop or his or her, his or her laptop or smartphone. So it's not a group activity, it's an individual activity and progress um, is different. It's like you can you can learn at your own pace. That's the idea. Uh, there is a request for yes. 25 license. Could you in the chat again? Rotora dreamers and doers Jalpai Guri need 25 license for the school which they are taking care. Of, which are just uh, I think we have just discussed that with Rotarian Rajiv. Yeah, yeah. I think you no, can follow up with him later on. Yeah. Now, right now, we can apply. 
for CBSC and ICSC for Northeastern region? Yes, sir. You can go right ahead from today itself. Uh, the portal is ready. Everything okay. is ready. Um, there will not be any hiccups. Because in, CBSC, because in yes, CBSC sir. and ICSC, we'll get most of the schools only private schools. Yes, yes. ICSC will be only private schools. Yeah. Unfortunately, that is true. But uh, let us see how fast we can bring in the other state boards. And uh, so that we can, uh, you can, we can expand um, our licenses. But there is of no course. harm. Uh, just a second. CBSC, we can go for Kendriya Vidalai. They are not, uh, they are not uh, private school. At the yes. same time, they are government schools. Uh, Kendriya Vidalai. Also, yeah, the yeah. also the Jawahar Navodaya Vidyalaya. Yes, right? yes. JNV. It's it's a uh, okay. uh, government school. Government school, right? Uh, yeah. Navodaya Vidyalaya. They are government schools under CBSC. Artho, yeah. This is Shiddar Tomkarji. Oh, good evening. Good, good evening. evening. So what I do understand is that the students will be over the period of three years, they will progress to the uh, lower class to the upper class. And the uh, content of the Baiju's e-learning would be upgraded automatically. For example, a student is studying right now at six and the scholarship was for three years. After one year, she, he or she will be progressed to class seven. The content of the Baiju's e-learning Hello, I think you dropped out. D dropped out. Is it now? Hello, can you hear yeah, me? It's okay. Yeah, 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 we can hear it. Okay. What is the question? Question is the content of the uh, Baiju C learning platform would be upgraded automatically over the period of three years. For example, yeah, so a student is student is yeah. learning uh, studying is class six and opted for the Baiju C learning platform. Next year, she or she will be progressed to class seven. The content would be automatically upgraded, isn't it? Absolutely. Yes. Right. Yes. That's it. Nothing to do with the Rotary Club or somebody else or the school. No, Rotary Clubs are only sponsors. Rotary ah. Club beyond that has no role to play. Right, right, right. Rotary Club, I would like to clarify. I take this opportunity to clarify also. Rotary Club has no role in the selection process either. Yes. It is the school that will decide who they will give. We, of course, are giving them the guideline that select the top five performing students in the class. That is a guideline that we are giving. Right. Absolutely. So from each class, one student? Uh, no. no uh, each class, five students. Five students. Five students from each class. Five students yes. from each class. You have to select five classes. Yes. Between okay. class four and class 12. So there will be 25, 25 uh, students from each school. Uh, Parto, check your chat again. Check my chat again. Is it single time registration for students for three years? Absolutely, yes. It is a one time registration only. Once the student registers, he or she will be enrolled for three years, except class 11 and class 12, which would be for two years only. One thing, if suppose one is transferred from one school to another school, uh -huh. in that case, the student can take his or her app along with uh, along with herself or himself uh, okay. through uh, and use the smartphone wherever you wherever you go. Okay. It's like yeah, that way. What was that other question? Is there any restrictions on the medium like English or vernacular? By default, it is English, but you want you can change it to vernacular language, the medium of instruction. You can change it to vernacular language, and the languages supported uh, are already uh, you know displayed on the screen um, on the presentation. I think there are eight languages that are supported. By the way, this uh, uh, this this uh, this program is being recorded. 
So uh, it will be available. Danny would pay, put it up in our, uh, you know, in our <coughs> website, district website. So you can see the presentation again if you have doubts, and you can also tell other Rotarians to, uh, you know, look this up. Rotarians who did not, who were not able to join today. You can mail also to the all the participants today. You can mail it also. All right, that I will put it. I'll put it in the group WhatsApp group. Okay. Rotary, uh, Kalimpong uh, is which board, madam? Most of the schools are <laughs> ICSC and a few are CBSC. Uh, and uh, the vernacular schools are West Bengal board. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Sudhanya, ma'am, uh, you generally have a lot of questions today. You are quite silent. Oh, yes. No, no, no. I was uh, trying to unmute the... Yeah, and I was uh, pushing the wrong button. Button. Sorry. Actually, mm -hmm. I came late. I joined late. So in mm -hmm. the uh, beginning, I could not follow. So I have to sit with you uh, one time to understand the whole thing. And we have, we are working with two, three schools. The schools which we uh, did our uh, teachers, uh, uh, yeah, a, 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 what is it? Award, teachers award. Nation Builder Award. Uh, National Builders Award. We can hmm. work with them uh, about this, uh, uh, this uh, facility. And I think uh, to be very honest, uh, Partho, Mm -hmm. We should not work with the uh, with the private schools, as because private schools they get a lot of benefit. They can buy Baiju's uh, the courses themselves, and we should concentrate more on government schools. Agreed, KV, so KV, we should work with KV, and uh, Nobodaya also we <coughs> should work with, because basically if Baiju's is in English version of it. We need to concentrate with uh, KV and uh, this uh, Navadaya. But uh, yes, with uh, with uh, government school, I think if vernacular like Assamese, uh, Bengali, Hindi is there, then we should work with the government school only, not private school. Private school people, see, those who go to private school, their parents can afford to buy by Juska. Yeah. So we should not waste this opportunity on people who are already, uh, they can afford, who cannot afford, we should work with people who cannot afford, because Rotary is not for the rich. Rotary is for the uh, poorer, um, middle level, lower middle level people, those who cannot get the opportunities. And the for me, this is my op opinion, of course. I agree with you, ma'am. Right. Let's take up last two questions. And yes. thereafter, we'll request, we'll request uh, Pavida to give his closing remarks. Only, Partho, one thing I will ask you. I will ask you to send me the whole PPT, if possible, in my email ID. I'll share my email ID. I think you have my email ID. Still, I will share with so, you. I, uh, I I was outside. We had a, our Samaj has had a, um, I'm from Brahmo Samaj. So we had a. Right, ma'am. Uh, so what yeah. I'll do is I will yeah. post, I will immediately after this discussion, I will post this yeah. in our groups and I will uh -huh. send you on your WhatsApp also. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you so much. Uh, in fact, yes. in fact I, I, also, say, I also want to request you the PPT right here in the uh, chat. Okay. You can all download it if you want. Yes, I would like to do that also. I would like to understand it more. Yeah, I'm yes, putting it yes. right here. Uh, right here, you can take it out right here. So 
it will go to it will go to all of you on the chat so you can download it directly okay thank you that would be yes, yes. I, i i personally need to understand it more and and then uh, go for the launch okay it's already uploaded yeah thank you danny welcome thank you anyone so we can go for the clo closing yeah. remarks but yeah. yeah anybody wants to uh, uh, ask any question just one last question yeah there is a question on chat for you all right this is the, the last one that we'll take up maximum how many schools we can sponsor unlimited so long as you have the money unlimited each school 25000 rupees okay i would like to ask one question to all of you my question is are we on the right track are we going to succeed on this yes we will absolutely we will. absolutely absolutely we'll do it like we did the nbas all right yes. Yes. so really really looking forward to your participation and with this i would uh, request our district governor dr kushanavi pa kushanava pavida to please uh, give his closing remarks and then there we there after we end this show thank you partho and thank you to all the participants as you can see we have a mine of gold in our front, in front of us now how we react to this how we act how we are able to extract the maximum benefit of this depends upon our proactivity so definitely we all understand that this is a wonderful uh, proposition we should accept not only in words we should accept and make it a practical thing which can help our district which can help not only our district all over india all the poor students to get a you know flavor of what digital learning is and i think it is quite affordable and our clubs can help in that way and definitely i feel very proud to be part of this program thanks to rilm thanks to byjuice thanks to our uh, literacy chair and literacy committee that we will be able to propagate such sort of e learning throughout our district and throughout <laughs> india thank you everybody and i hope that we will be able to extract the maximum benefit out of this which really will make rotary proud and also it will be a big uh, public image content for the whole whole community to see what rotary is doing for them so with this i want to conclude my closing remarks saying thumbs up such a to such a uh, initiative thank you for your beautiful words pavida and with this i also thank all the members who have taken out time on a sunday evening to spend one hour and and join this program and look forward to more action together thank you thank you once again all of you thank you bye thank you thank you and bye 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 thank you thank you all thank you so much thank you, thank you. good night yeah you all can stay here for the this uh, there is a, another seminar that's starting actually on uh, women uh, i think on uh, the flash trade or something i think what is the topic that is human trafficking yeah human trafficking yes there is, a, is from yeah. 730 that yeah, is starting at start, yes. 730 yes yes yes, yes. so you you can all stay back for that one okay. who will be conducting that uh pallavi and uh, kalpana by the way will be there and also uh, uh, luis ain i think you know luis ain mm. he was a rotary peace scholar and uh, uh, di i think a di uh, dic or something from here okay so he will be there 
and uh, I think I have to just. Can I can I join again? Danny? Yeah, yeah, you can. Yes. Uh, then I'll just take a break. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Thank you. We just continue with the same passwords. <coughs> do we can do we continue with the same passwords? Yeah, the same uh, meeting continues, so you can re-log in with the same credentials. Yeah, same password okay. and the same meeting ID. Okay, that's great. Okay. Yeah. पूछो ना तो नीचे गया है ना वो दुकान फिर है बेटा बोल ईयरफोन नहीं है यार तो पीछे की आवाज आ रही है ना ला ये वाला चलता नहीं क्या तो टाइम हो गया है लेकिन
कल्पना बेटा गुड इवनिंग ओके लेट मी चेक दिस चेक दिस ओके हाय मैं ओके हेलो एवरीवन थैंक यू डैनी थैंक यू डैनी फॉर टेकिंग चार्ज वंस अगेन आई सी आर रिसोर्स पर्सन्स योर ऑन स्क्रीन नाइस टू सी यू लुइस एंड वी हैव टेन मैमा फ्रॉम थ्री जीरो थ्री जीरो वेलकम टू यू Uh, there was a meeting on our collaboration with Bajus just a little while back. I think we must have finished about five minutes back. Okay. So I guess some of the members would be rejoining. Yes, uh, I think so. Uh, we anyway have uh, I think uh, Luis uh, Sir has also joined. Uh, right. Yeah. Bhavita Saikya has also joined. Oh, I can see. Pallavi has joined. Pallavi has joined. Evening. Yeah, Pallavi is here. Pallavi was here. I saw her. No, she is here. Yeah, she is here. पल्लवी आ रही ओके आई कैन सी टू डिफरेंट पल्लवी माजीस पल्लवी आ रही Hello, can you see me? Yes, yes, we can see you. See ya. Okay. Okay. So, uh, good evening, ma'am. Good evening, uh, uh Bobby, the ma'am. Good evening. Good evening, Louis sir. Good evening, Karuna, ma'am. Good evening. Good evening, Pallavi. Yeah. I'm good evening, Rudy Rani, ma'am. I am there. Okay, thank you, thank you so much, thank you so much, thank you so much. Welcome. Yeah, thank you, Rani. 
So we'll start the program, ma'am. Uh, maybe yeah, we we'll wait. Uh, yeah, Uma ma. Yes, ma'am. Thank you yes. for joining. Ah, sure. <laughs> Perhaps we can wait for two more minutes and start exactly at 7.30. Yeah. Huh? I think someone needs to be muted. Pallavi. Yeah. Danny. Danny. Hello. Danny, are you there? Yeah, yeah, I'm there. Go on. Uh, yeah, please, uh, co host Tamrin Kazi. If in case your monitor doesn't work for yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Recording in progress. <clears throat> okay, done. Amrin Kazi, are you are you joined? Yeah, yeah. She's joined and I have made a post. Yeah. 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 So, I think we need few more participants here. Mosumi Bhattacharya. Yeah. Nice. Uh, I think in the meantime, we can have some informal chit chat, you know, like I think Umaima, uh, you can tell us you are from a different district from 3030. So perhaps you can tell us what you have been doing. I have a lot of work here, women empowerment related. Okay, tell me. Where is 3030? Where is 3030? This is Vardha, Vardha is in Nagpur. Okay, that will be it. Nasik to Gondi at the Kreta, I'm sorry. Esa Heki Pallavi Maji, very proactive. So, she agreed to go to 3030. Or Bataya Thaki physically be Jana Jari to me Jangi. So, actually, that is. Zone 6 ka shayad wo last district hai na, west, west mein. Jis, ji mein. To, is se fir west ka ji mein wari bhi le liya unho ne. Aap loo ka kya kaam ho raha hai? Bohat si kaam ho raha hai. Kaafi meinne dekha hai, meinne dekha hai. Yaan bhe ab, Victor Jit hai, vocational training center apan ne kola hai, ladies ke liye. Matlab women related aapko bata raha hai. और यहाँ पे जो है ये हाँ हाँ मैंने देखा है लेकिन सबको तो पता नहीं है थोड़ा टाइम फाइव मिनट्स टाइम हम लोग चिच्चेट करके फिर और और लोग आ जाएंगे तो हम लोग शुरू करेंगे ना हाँ हाँ ओके 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 आप थोड़ा बताइए हाँ यहाँ पे बहुत बड़ा इवेंट होता है मैम रोटरी फेयर करके ये जो है फंडरेजिंग प और इसके अलावा ये मदर मिल्क बैंक है मैम यहाँ पर ह्यूमन मिल्क जो रहते हैं ना जो मदर मिल्क बैंक है ना मदर मिल्क हाँ मदर मिल्क बैंक हॉस्पिटल में हॉस्पिटल में मैम ठीक है मैमोग्राफी होती है का मैमोग्राफी बस है मैम यहाँ पर ये 
इसके लिए ब्रेस्ट कैंसर से रिलेटेड जो है पूरे वैन जो है घूमती रहती पूरे डिस्ट्रिक्ट में मैम और इसके अलावा भी बहुत से प्रोजेक्ट होते हैं यहाँ पे सपने सच हुए एक बहुत बिग बड़ा प्रोजेक्ट है मैम हम लोगों का तो यहाँ पे क्या करते नाइन्थ के जो बच्चे बहुत पुअर रहते हैं जो और अच्छे रहते पढ़ाई में बहुत अच्छे रहते हैं उनका जो एग्जाम लिया जाता है एग्जाम में अगर वो पास हो जाते हैं इंटरव्यू लिया जाता है और ट्वेंटी टू बच्चों को ब, ये बाई प्लेन लेके जाया ट्रेन से लेके जाया जाता है और प्लेन से वापस लेके आया जाता है सिंगापुर इस बार इस बार जो है अहमदाबाद जा रही है बच्चों की टीम जो है हेलो तो हो गया था ना बस इस तरह के यानी अच्छे प्रोजेक्ट्स होते हैं और 150 लोगों का क्लब है लेडीज कम है यहाँ पर मगर बहुत अच्छे से सब रहते हैं और मजा आती है अपने क्लब में सुनीता ये था मैम जो वेलकम प्रभात जी गुड इवनिंग कॉल लोले दिस अनम्यूट थोड़ी बात की कर मैं तो छुना है सके बोलो भी आई थिंक वी कैन गेट स्टार्टेड ओके मैम ओके ओल्ड आ गुड इवनिंग एवरीबॉडी आ ग्रीटिंग्स फ्रॉम टेंपल टाउन ऑफ बारोन आरआईडी 3240 we are going to have a webinar which is very relevant in today's seminar uh, scenario human trafficking a modern day slavery it talks about the dark side of the society where some greedy people do this for the monetary benefits our chief guest is none other than pdg past district governor kalpana khan ma'am i must admit without her help organizing this webinar was next to impossible welcome sir welcome to our tedious our uh, today's moderator is louis winsor who is known for his vast knowledge and simple approach we have got galaxy <laughs> of speakers today we have rosie rani ma'am rosie rani sharma <laughs> Ma'am, uh, additional SP. She is very busy since last few days, as she is right now in a mission. Rotary and Isha Ji Mama from Ashi Gandhi City, Vada, Maharashtra, is going to introduce her. We have Babita Saikia, ma'am, who is working with Bacha Bachpan Bachao Andolan, an organization related to <coughs> Peace Prize winner Kailash Chatti. Rotary and Kiran Kayan of Ashi Siliguri Uttar and Vilivas is going to introduce her. PDG Kalpana Khan, ma'am, who is who is the ambassador of Empowering Girls for Zone Six, which comprises of uh, Rotary International District Nine, Rotary International District Nepal, and Bhutan, and One B, which includes Indonesia, Bangladesh, and Pakistan. so i will request kalpana ma'am to give us a overview of this topic human trafficking thank you over thank you ma'am over to you
Thank you, Rotarian Pallavi, who is the Assistant Ambassador for Empowering Girls. Good evening once again to all of you assembled here this evening, uh, particularly to our resource persons, our Peace Scholar, Louis Sainz, who is a great friend of Rotary, our resource persons, Rosie Rani Sharma and Babita Saikya, members of the Council of Governors of our district. I can also see my good friend, my batchmate, Chanda Rishi. Welcome to you. Uh, Rotarians from uh, District 3030. I can see a very active Rotarian, Umaima, uh, from 3030. Um, Rotarian friends and well-wishers of Rotary. Last year, our immediate past international president, Shekhar Mehta, had, besides the emphasizing on the seven focus areas of Rotary, had put a lot of emphasis on something new, and that was empowering girls and committees were formed at various levels, starting from the ambassadors, assistant ambassadors, and we have the district chairs and the club level chairs. So we have been working at it since last year, trying to emphasize on better facilities for girls in schools, facilities for education, for self-defense, <clears throat> other awareness and also for skill development. And clubs at various levels have been working on it. Rotary has always been trying to give dignity to human lives on empowerment, on dignity. We have been working over the years from 1905. Today's topic is very much connected with the human dignity. This human trafficking, which we have given the name right here of the slavery of modern times is something we are aware of, but somehow we are in this a couple When in past director P.T. Prabhakar's institute, uh, there was a lady, Sunita Krishnan, who was herself a rape victim. And she had spoken about I'm having some connection issues. Uh, I, I, I'll try not to put off the camera, but um, you know there may be problems with it. Um, and so that was, you know, the first time I met someone who is working in a very big way against trafficking. And she herself, you know, till that time she had uh, uh, rescued about 8,500 girls. And uh, she had been physically assaulted a number of times. And, uh, you know, and uh, she was short of hearing in one year because of the physical um, assaults. Because after all, all of us know that this is a multi, multi billion dollar industry. Uh, the second person I met <clears throat> was none other than the founder of the Bachpan Bachao Andolan. Someone who is a Nobel laureate, Kailash Satyarthi. And I'm glad that Babita Saikya from that organization 
is here this evening. I have heard him in two Rotary forums. In one of his speeches in one of our institutes, he had spoken about his uh, experience with some uh, bonded laborers. They were kept in a factory in Haryana. He came to know about them. And in over a couple of days, they were trying to rescue those people. And then they found that early in the morning, you know, when it was quite dark, uh, you know, the guards used to go out. And uh, uh, so uh, they took a chance. And one day they all went in there and rescued those laborers. There must have been about 30 of them. Uh, they were the families. They were living there with their families. And one of the, uh, one young girl, you know, he had brought the children with him uh, in his car. He was driving himself. And he just handed over a banana to one of the girls who was sitting just next to him, a, a, a little girl. She had the banana and immediately after, you know, she said, um, you have given me something which is very funny tasting. You know, it's so bitter. It's so odd. I don't like it. Then he looked down and he saw that she had not peeled the skin. That means she had never had a banana in her life. She must have been born there. And when he went to receive the Nobel Prize, she also went with a group of people from Bachpan Bachao. And she addressed the gathering there. And she told them that you are great people. You are kings and queens. You are the rulers. You are the policy makers. But why is it that people like us have been inside these walls for so many, many years? Why didn't you do anything about it? So that was my second experience of meeting someone who has been working, you know, in such a wonderful way, with such great dedication. And then the third exposure that I had my interaction with such a person was in Nepal with Padma Shri Anuradha Koirala. I had been to her center in Kathmandu because I had read about trafficking being a great menace in country, you know, from our empowering girls team. They have been working on it, uh, trying to make a difference. I wanted them to take it up. Uh, in a big way. And I had visited her um, uh, orphanage, her home in uh, Kathmandu, and she had introduced us to three young girls. And one of them, at the age of 14, had her neck slit because, you know, she was forcefully being. Uh, taken into prostitutions, and she had resisted. Anuradha Koirala that day told us that, you know, it would have been better if those, you know, the, uh, the people who had tortured her had killed her on that day instead of letting her live. Because for those six months, she suffered hell. I have had an exposure, uh, you know, uh, to the menace of trafficking. And perhaps uh, COVID has made things worse. Uh, we live in a state which has a lot of international borders. And people are sometimes very gullible. And you find that someone from that village, you know, uh, uh, takes them uh, uh, alluring them with the prospect of work. Sunita Krishnan had said that there are, she has come across a lot of girls from Northeast India, you know, who have uh, gone to the cities and looking for jobs. And that's how they are lured in. And I'm quite sure that this happens all over the world, particularly so in areas which are insular. Uh, we have 
are very knowledgeable uh, resource persons who have been working in this field. Uh, I wouldn't uh, like to take more of your time, uh, but this is just the beginning. Let us, you know, uh, make the best use of our being together because they say coming together is the beginning. And this is a, one area in which we should work. So many other things are related. So many things which Rotary works for, education, health, you know, all these are, all these issues are connected with it. So I make an appeal to you that let us make it an ongoing process. Let us look around us. Let us not live in glass houses. Let us look around us. Let us find out, you know, who are the most gullible people, you know, who can be entrapped into this net, uh, which is a very deadly net. So thank you for your patient hearing. And I do hope that we have a very fruitful uh, session. And after the speakers, uh, you know, would be addressing us, I'm quite sure that you would be uh, very uh, coming up with questions. I can see my good friend, my sister from 3291 from Kolkata, past district governor, Samushri. Welcome, Samushri. Nice to see you. Yeah, thank you for taking out the time. Uh, so thank you once again. Uh, so over to Pallavi. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am, for your beautiful inputs. We are privileged to have PDG Samushri, ma'am, PDG Rohat Kedia, sir. Professor Ajanta B. Raj Kanwar, Vice Chancellor, Assam Open University, Women University, Jorhat, and Rotarian Shokuntala Raha of RISO with us. Without further delay, I'll, I would introduce our very accomplished moderator for today, uh, Mr. Louis Hind, retired IPS. So, Mr. Louis Hind, uh, IPS retired, officer of special duty to the additional director general of police special branch, Assam, come deputy interlocutor, government of Assam, and retired deputy inspector general of police, Assam. Uh, Danny, can you put the camera on, sir? Louis, sir? In uh, a brief career, uh, precisely here, so, a professional with over 35 years of work experience in the field of peace building, policing, radio broadcast, and teaching coming from a very humble farming background. Post-retirement, presently re-engaged by the state government as a deputy interlocutor for holding negotiations with various non-state armed actors or militants operating in Assam, decorated with the prestigious President's Medal for a meritorious service, and also with the Chief Minister's Medal for outstanding professional competence. Sponsored by Rotary International, actively participated in Rotary Peace Symposium held in Sao Paulo, Brazil in 2015, completed special command of force at Police Recruits Training Center, Hoshiarpur, Punjab, completed police command of force at National Security Guard Headquarters, Manishwar, Haryana, secured the best cadet trophy for outdoor curriculum at Police Training College, Dirgaon, Assam, topped the merit list of Staff Selection Commission and was selected as Transmission Executive in All India Radio, Gohadi Station, under Ministry of Information and Broadcasting, Government of India in 1989. Educational qualifications, Professional Development Certificate course on International Peace and Conflict Resolution from Chulalongkorn uh, University, Bangkok, Thailand in 2012, Bachelor of Arts from State Anthony's College, Shillong. Bachelor of Philosophy from Gana Deep Vidyapeet, Pune, Maharashtra. Pre-University course from Dharan College, Tetpur, Assam. HSLC from Teton Fukuri High School, Sonitpur District, Assam in 1978. So it's in brief. Um, over to you, sir. Yeah, now everything is 
uh, in your control. And uh, I'll request everyone to put their questions in the chat box so that we can uh, go for discussion in the question and answer sessions. Thank you very much. Over to you, sir. I think his uh, native uh, bandwidth is going take time. Yeah. For Levi, um, I didn't uh, buy your data, but anyways, through Autry, because of uh, you, that was. <laughs> So can you hear me? So can you hear me? Sorry, I lost, lost you. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. We can hear uh, you. Can you hear me, please? Yes, sir. I can't hear you actually. I love you. Can you yeah, I'm okay. there, sir. Sorry for that snag there. So um, I didn't. That okay. Uh, sorry once again. I didn't. I didn't. I wouldn't have liked you to read out that uh, kind of longish bio data. I just in um I would like to take this opportunity to thank you uh, because without uh, this course that I underwent without, uh, with your sponsorship, I uh, definitely I wouldn't have been able to do kind of things that I'm doing today. Now coming back to the topic itself on human trafficking and modern day slavery, so trafficking of human beings for what? For forced labor, for prostitution, all and so forth. Now, the, to counter this, government has uh, enacted many rules, uh, many, many, something like you can say, um, uh, let me read out a couple of them. Like uh, trafficking I, uh, in women, uh, in and human beings and uh, traffic uh, GZ Act, Justice Juvenile Act, and things like that. But somehow, for whatever reasons that we know, things go unabated. And no matter what we are doing, maybe we're doing a lot, but somehow this is not kind of giving the result that we want. Now, all of us have some challenges, I believe. Uh, we are working in our own area of expertise or time to do us uh, to do something more to make this world a better place and i always have wondered why despite all these rules being in place despite uh, the, the government non-government and, and um, organizations like uh, rotary being doing doing so much all these years somehow the crime rate goes up so probably this is an opportunity where we can interact. Maybe we can find a way, uh, contribute a little bit more than what we are doing, and maybe make this place a better, uh, a better place to live. So thank you. Thank you so much. Like, right, sir, uh, can you please uh, request Rosie Rani, ma'am? She's there. She's joined. Uh, yeah, Rosie, can you join us? Yeah. Sir, I'm there, sir. Good evening, sir. I'm there, sir. Okay. Uh, Umayma. Okay. Ma'am. So, Uma, uh, sir, Umayma is there. Uh, she's going to introduce her. Umayma? Yes, ma'am. 
या पुलिस वालों के भी अपने अलग फसाने हैं पुलिस वालों के भी अपने अलग फसाने हैं यहाँ तीर भी चलाने हैं और परिंदे भी बचाने हैं आज के वेमिनार में उपस्थित सभी श्रोताओं का मैं उमेमा ईसा जी रोटरी क्लब ऑफ गांधी सिटी वर्धा डिस्ट्रिक्ट थ्री जीरो थ्री जीरो की ओर से तहे दिल से स्वागत करती हूँ आज की की नोट स्पीकर मिस रोजी रानी शर्मा मैम एडिशनल एस पी और धुबरी असम में कार्यरत है यह मेरा सौभाग्य है कि आपके परिचय की जवाबदारी मुझे सौंपी गई है आप एक पुलिस ऑफिसर हैं और आपका पुलिस एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन में तेरह सालों का अनुभव रहा है आप एक पब्लिक स्पीकर हैं, मैन पावर को ट्रेनिंग देती हैं, वुमेन रिलेटेड इश्यूज के एडवाइजर है आपको हिंदी इंग्लिश के अलावा असमी नेपाली और बंगाली भाषा में भी अच्छी महारत हासिल है आपका प्रोफेशनल एक्सपीरियंस कुछ इस तरह का है आप 2011 से 2013 तक असिस्टेंट कमांडेंट कम एडुटेंट पद पर नगाव असम में कार्यरत रही हैं। 2013 से 15 तक आप सब डिविजनल पुलिस ऑफिसर बंगई गांव असम में 2015 से 18 तक असिस्टेंट कमिश्नर ऑफ पुलिस इंटेलिजेंस पद पर 2018 टू 19 में सेकंड इन कमांड 13 असम पुलिस बटालियन लखीमपुर में 2019 टू 21 तक एडिशनल सुपरिटेंडेंट ऑफ पुलिस सिक्योरिटी कोकराझाड़ में रह चुकी हैं और 2021 से अब तक एडिशनल सुपरिटेंडेंट ऑफ पुलिस एच क्यू धुबरी में कार्यरत है जहां जहां भी आपकी पोस्टिंग हुई है वहां आपने पीस मेंशन के लिए काम किया है लॉ एंड ऑर्डर सिचुएशन मेंशन किया महिलाओं से रिलेटेड केसेस को भी आपने देखे और उन पर विशेष ध्यान दिया इलेक्शन प्रॉपर तरीके से करवाए आप एक कोविड वॉरियर भी है आपको कई तरह के अवार्ड से भी नवाजा गया है जैसे कि डीजीपी कमांडेशन सिल्वर मेडल कमांडेशन सिल्वर मेडल फ्रॉम द डायरेक्टर जनरल ऑफ पुलिस फ्रॉम मेरिटोरियस सर्विस फर्स्ट पोजीशन इन स्टेट लेवल डिबेट कंपटीशन आपने रीजनल कॉन्फ्रेंस इन साइबर लॉ इशू एंड चैलेंजेस एट गुवाहाटी में ट्रेनिंग दी है और कई सेमिनार में भी आपने ट्रेनिंग दी है इसके अलावा आप राइटिंग का भी बहुत शौक रखती हैं न्यूज़पेपर्स मैगजीन में आपके आर्टिकल्स पोएम्स और स्टोरीज प्रकाशित होते रहते हैं आपने कोमल मन दपोनाथ नाम की स्टोरी बुक लिखी और प्रकाशित भी की आपका कम्युनिटी इन्वॉल्वमेंट भी काफी अच्छा है आप 96, 97 में गोहपुर हाई स्कूल जनरल सेक्रेटरी इलेक्ट हुई 2018 में आप रोटरी पीस स्कॉलर सिलेक्शन कमेटी इन गुवाहाटी में एज अ मेंबर भी पार्टिसिपेट किया और कैंडिडेट का इंटरव्यू लिया फॉर अ प्रोफेशनल डेवलपमेंट आपका महिलाओं के इशू सॉल्व करने में बहुत बड़ा योगदान है आपने पुलिस स्टेशन में वुमन सेल का निर्माण किया जहां पर एक लेडी ऑफिसर होती है जहां महिलाएं अपनी प्रॉब्लम्स को काफी बेहतर तरीके से रख पाती हैं। पुलिस ऑफिसर्स को ट्रेन किया और पुलिस स्टेशन का इन्वायरमेंट वुमन वुमेन किया महिलाओं के लिए मोटिवेशनल स्पीच प्रोग्राम रखे और उन्हें एजुकेशन की इम्पोर्टेंस बताई आप रिसर्च वर्क में भी काफी इन्वॉल्व रहती हैं आप हाईली एजुकेटेड लेडी हैं रोजी रानी मैम के तो और कई उल्लेखनीय कार्य हैं, जो कि समय सीमा की पाबंदी की वजह से इंट्रोडक्शन में बताना रह गया है पर समाज में शांति का माहौल बना रहे और महिलाओं के लिए आपके किए गए कार्य काबिली तारीफ है इसकी जितनी भी प्रशंसा की जाए कम है हमारे लिए बड़े ऑनर की बात है कि आज मैम हमारे बीच है आपकी मौजूदगी से ये वातावरण बहुत मोटिवेशनल लग रहा है मैम अभी सफर थमा नहीं है अभी तो बहुत सी बुलंदियां हासिल करना बाकी है जाने क्या बात है पुलिस की वर्दी में जाने क्या बात है पुलिस की वर्दी में जब चढ़ जाती है बदन पर गर्दन झुकने नहीं देती तो आइए रोजी रानी मैम 
आप आपके एक्सपीरियंस शेयर करने के लिए मैं आपको ससम्मान आमंत्रित करती हूँ ओवर टू रोजी मैम थैंक यू उमाइमा जी <laughs> मैं जितना हूँ या जितना नहीं हूँ आपने जिस इतने अच्छे अंदाज से <laughs> आपने बोला कि मतलब मैं जो भी नहीं हूँ वो भी उभर के आया <laughs> मुझे बहुत अच्छा लगा बहुत कुछ मैं रह गया क्योंकि आपको सुनना है ना मुझे थोड़ी सुनना है <laughs> तो मैं यहाँ पे पल्लवी माझी जी से एक रिक्वेस्ट करती हूँ नेक्स्ट एक सेशन रख के उमाइमा जी का स्पीच रखिए राइट मैं कभी सोची भी नहीं था कि शी विल बी दिस गुड एंड सिंपल लैंग्वेज एंड सच ब्यूटिफुली थैंक यू उमाइमा एंड शी वर्क वेरी गुड फॉर वुमेन एम्पावरमेंट नाउ विद लुइस सर हु आई थिंक network is giving some problem i take the honor and privilege to uh, welcome you and please ma'am go ahead with your deliberation uh, thank you so much and a very good evening to all the dignitaries present here uh, i can see prabhat kedia ji prabhat kedia ji very good evening matlab aap ki wajah se aur rotary district jo district nahi club रोटरी क्लब ऑफ गुवाहाटी वेस्ट था शायद आप लोगों की वजह से ही मैं थाईलैंड चुलालंकन यूनिवर्सिटी में आई कुड गो फॉर अ सर्टिफिकेट कोर्स इन द चुलालंकन यूनिवर्सिटी बैंकॉक एंड एज लुइसा सेड दैट वाज अ टर्निंग पॉइंट इन माय लाइफ बिकॉज फ्रॉम देयर अगेन आई कुड गो टू द यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स अवेलिंग फुलब्राइट फेलोशिप एंड आई गॉट द अपॉर्चुनिटी टू डेवलप माय प्रोफेशनल कैरियर आई कुड लर्न मेनी थिंग्स so as today's topic is a bit different from that good to see you uh, i always <laughs> love to speak about rotary my experience in rotary and how Welcome. rotary uh, helped me in uh, everything uh, but now my topic is different human trafficking the modern day slavery so firstly i would like to thank luisain sir uh, sir is like um, i learned work from sir policing from luisain sir uh, he was my front door neighbor also in guwahati for few years so luisan sir i think he had recommended my name because a peace scholar we men and the police officer combination they want so <laughs> <laughs> so then um, i also thank rotary international zone 6 rotary international district 3240 and uh, 3030 for organizing this wonderful event and i thank rotary uh, rotary and dr pallavi maji ji unhone the she um, she motivated me a lot because i was almost about to quit uh, in the entire state of assam we are busy with the child marriage cases we have various people um, and there is a lot of paperwork and other works also to be conducted we couldn't sleep the entire night for two nights and two days so i i thought i was i should postpone the date but she said it is already circulated so you have Have to come, come there for ten minutes and then go. So thank you, Pallavi ji. So uh, two, three days back um, or four, five days back, I ha- I happened to go to a school in uh, Dhuburi district. That is Khas Khamar Emi School. Uh, that was for Gunod Sab. Uh, those who are from Assam, they will understand what what Gunod Sab is. And um, uh, when I uh, went there for Gunod Sab, I could see the vibrant uh, faces of children. Uh, and the uh, school authority they make it a point that during gunot sab all the children they come and attend school but uh, that day many children were uh, absent so when i asked them the reason why the children are absent then the teacher said when i asked them to send the children to school uh, they start crying or weeping and then say that we also know the the importance of education but uh, these children they help us working in the uh, brick field brick kiln uh, as in dhuburi there are many brick factories or they help in agricultural field or they help in rearing goat lamb or duck or uh, chicken and uh, which earn them money and money for do waqt ka roti for meal two meals a day if the children don't go to the uh, to help their parents in any work then they will not earn money then they will 
sleep empty stomach so this is a very uh, very crucial thing to uh, point here why i am saying all these things uh, in a speech in human trafficking is because uh, these children they when they continuously don't come to school all of a sudden if they go to school they their all chain is missing the thread is missing and then they start dropping out from the schools and they fall soft prey to the uh, to the human traffickers Uh, they are poor they are not going to school they are working they, they have no exposure they are working in the brick factories as child laborers and human traffickers they give them some money and then allure them to uh, go, go 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 somewhere and then sell them off and they become the prey for human trafficking now um, what is human trafficking um, whenever we speak about human trafficking then um, immediately what comes to our mind is prostitution but prostitution is not human trafficking uh prostitution becomes an offense when there is commercial sexual exploitation of a person uh, what is commercial sexual exploitation if a woman or a child or any person not not only women or children it can be a man also a small uh, male boy also they are sexually exploited and any person gains out of the same then it is commercial sex sexual exploitation and trafficking is the process human trafficking is the process of recruiting contracting procuring or hiring a person for commercial sexual exploitation thus human trafficking trafficking is the process and commercial sexual exploitation is the result uh, so uh, demand for uh, demand for commercial sexual exploitation uh, generates and promotes uh, human trafficking now our topic is uh, human trafficking a modern day slavery so what is modern day slavery uh, you all know all these things but as i have to speak so i have to speak <laughs> so according to the international level level organization and the international Orga organization for migration when an individual is exploited by others for personal or commercial gain there should be some gain personal or commercial when uh, when an individual is exploited by others for personal or commercial gain whether tricked coerced or forced they lose their freedom many people were falling into this trap because they were trying to escape poverty or insecurity whatever i just told when there is khane ko kuch nahi hai to koi agar 500 rupaye bhi thama de they have never seen such big amount of money in their entire life uh, so uh, they try to escape poverty or insecurity or sometimes they try to improve their lives or sometimes they want to support their families and then when they fall prey to the human traffickers now they cannot live there is a data here according to the latest global estimates of modern slavery 2022 from work free the international labor organization and the international organization for migration 49.6 million people live in modern slavery in forced labor and forced marriages um uh, i have uh, in the district of dhuburi uh, in, in the issue of human trafficking i have seen forced marriages to the in, in its highest uh, number uh, human trafficking is done for forced marriages from dhuburi and those who are soft targets they are married off to uh, forcibly married they are sold uh, at uh, those uh, states of india Uh, where the male female ratio is not uh, sim like um, female are lesser than the male uh, they are these uh, uh, small girls are sold uh, for forced marriage and forced labor also so uh, in this data it is told that 49.6 million people live in modern slavery in forced labor and forced marriage roughly a quarter of all victims of modern slavery are children a quarter of all victims of modern slavery are children 22 million people are in forced marriages 22 million people are in forced marriages two out of five of those people were children so uh, trafficking as the modern day slavery uh, could also be a, uh, be a means for other type of violation such as developing pornographic material for promoting sex tourism for sexual exploitation under the facade of bartending uh, message parlors etc uh, exploitative labor etc uh but uh, yesterday i was discussing with my officers in charges in the in the district and they were saying that uh, like in haryana 
as um, the well of people wealthy people they could manage to uh, marry a girl from their own place uh, from their own state only but those who are very poor people um, they they cannot manage to uh, marry a girl from their own uh, population so they try to outsource it from other places and then um, uh, then they um, uh, then uh, there is a network then they try to collect those young age girls like 14 years old girls 15 years old girls and they they, they can get them at a very lesser price and then they uh, they keep them as their wives uh, in human trafficking i have a very interesting case to uh, share here uh, i was supervising a case this is a few years old uh, case actually uh, there was a uh, entry at the police station as missing entry so uh, how the, how do we how do we track the human trafficking how police tracks human trafficking because nobody gives an fir uh, saying that uh, there is a human trafficking took place uh, so they give a missing entry then in maximum cases police think that okay uh, this girl has eloped with a boy whom she loved so um, the chapter is closed like she has eloped okay if she is uh, she is over like adult is she is 18 years and above then definitely police will give no interest uh, likewise a, a case of elopement was reported at a police station uh, then this time uh, the case was not uh, not left like that as a case of elopement and it was given uh, attention to and then uh, was, then mobile phones were analyzed many things was done but there was no clue so many uh, related people were uh, were interrogated uh, and then one auto driver gave a clue that the girl uh, he dropped that girl and another boy named sophikula something uh, in the railway station so then uh, police got the clue of that sophikul fellow uh, the sophikul fellow was a local fellow only and he is also a student and the girl who uh, played with him was also a student so sophikul is a commerce student in the local college and he was a bright student also so he took that girl to delhi uh, is it interesting or i'm making you bored is it okay my speech uh, okay to hear you yeah the sophikul fellow uh, he took that girl to delhi and then uh, wanted to um, uh, sell her off to a, a, a second person another person he wanted to sell her off but that girl used to love sophikul she was she was really in, into love with that uh, that boy that's why she was she thought that she is eloping with him and they are getting married but uh, when uh, she got to know that uh, he is not actually marrying her but he is selling her off she vehemently protested and she was also a talented girl so uh, the way she protested then he was uh, forced to bring her back now when he brought her back in the entire chain there were other people also so uh, uh, in in a place um, uh, he kept that girl in, uh, in in a place where there were two other uh, people also were uh, in that gang so those those two boys they suggested some people that we should kill this girl otherwise she will be a problem to us if she goes to police and she uh, reports this then we all will be uh, at a problem then uh, they hired two professional killers and uh, then they all of them four five six people they gang raped her and then beheaded her and then concealed her body in a uh, in a sack in a bosta uh, and then uh, threw it in the dipor bill there is a dipor bill in guwahati uh, those who are from guwahati or in from assam they know uh, dipor bill is in guwahati and then they threw the bosta in dipor bill and then they tied her head in a gamusa uh, gamusa and then threw the head in a different place they cut her head with using a dao Uh, dao uh, i don't know what is it, what it is called in english is a knife a big knife uh, they cut her head and then uh, uh, this was a very interesting case then all the all the related person could be caught then got to know that those two professional killers who were also involved in another case in killing one police person's wife uh, they entered in their in her house like in hindi khandi phumwa type they entered and then they killed the police person's wife mm, and then this sophikul fellow uh he he sold another woman also in delhi earlier so uh, police uh, again um, uh, went to delhi um, or some they got the clue that where this uh, this lady was sold she was a adult lady that lady was also rescued 
and all the persons who were involved in this case were uh, could be arrested now this is a very complex kind of uh, human trafficking is actually a complex kind of uh, uh, crime it is human trafficking is called uh, called a crime of crimes so it is a basket of crimes now you see here uh, the girl was um, uh, first he he played the a role that that he loved, loves her. Then he took her to Delhi. Then he so like it is a. There are several stages and several crimes uh, associated to it. In this basket, one can dig out the elements of abduction, kidnapping, illegal detainment. Uh, uh, once she is kidnapped, then somewhere she has to be detained illegally, uh, and again um, uh, illegal confinement, criminal intimidation, hard, grievous, hard sexual assault, outraging modesty, rape. Unnatural offences, selling and buying of human beings, servitude, criminal conspiracy, abetment—all these things and uh, one or more uh, these things are present in the um, in the human in the crime of human trafficking. So it is a very critical kind of crime and very critical for police to uh, track also. Uh, in 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 Dhuburi also uh, very recently. Uh, one girl was missing like that only with one boy she uh, eloped and she had uh, continuous contact with that boy earlier the parents knew that she she started loving one boy and then with the help of mobile number it could be tracked that the boy is in palghar maharashtra so uh, police uh, after tracking the cdr and the location they could um, know that it is some industrial location uh, where some quarters and residences are there and that girl is kept is there only then they send her uh, father the we we send the father of the victim the girl and then the father of the victim firstly he went to the place piche piche police was also there to back up and then when the father of the victim uh, saw one boy who was the brother of that boy who took that girl and kept it con uh, confined in a uh, in a house and she was intoxicated giving some nasila thing and then uh, when later uh, she was recovered and brought to dhuburi and uh, given her statement in the court she said that she was given some nasila thing to eat or drink and then uh, when she wakes up she has no clothes in her body so many people used to come and have sex with her or rape her or whatever uh, so uh, so it is a very critical kind of thing and uh, for police also it is very difficult because the the offenders uh, they are they they are not confined in one district because in some cases many cases we find that if there is a case reported uh, the of, uh, the person who did the offense will be the local one and with the help of local sources we can uh, find the um, offenders or the criminals but in human trafficking it is a national and the international kind of issue uh, so Mm, uh, it is very difficult to track this uh, kind of uh, case. So mm, uh, here, uh, the first marriage, the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime, even ODC estimates that 1.4 percent of the total detected victims of trafficking are trafficked for marriage. There is a even ODC data that is 1.4 percent of the total victims of trafficking are trafficked for marriage. As with other forms of human trafficking. Trafficking for marriage occurs in a number of forms and many of the victims are left in situation of modern day slavery because uh, they are not allowed to come up, come, come out of her house. Sometimes they may be uh, forced to have sex with uh, more than one person um, and uh, mm, uh, they have to do all the household things also and they don't have any decision making and they don't have any freedom thus the forced marriage becomes a modern day slavery and uh, here it is a um, example also given as i have already told uh, as i have already told the case of haryana uh, where the uh, the poor people they find it very uh, sasta to get a um, uh, girl from other out and they can give less amount of money and get the bride. So it is a case of China also and here is the data. For example, according to the 2017 trafficking in persons report in China, the sex imbalance due in part to the one child policy because of one child policy, they don't have many girls to marry. So has created a large demand for bride, both in Chinese and uh, foreign. To keep up with the demand, women have been abducted or lured with false promises from countries such as Thailand, Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia, and North Korea, poor Chinese men often purchase a foreign bride because the price is much less than the needed dowries and gifts to marry a local. 
so uh, now this is the problem now how to solve uh, this kind of uh, problems um, uh, so uh, prevention at the transit places uh, we did this um, this uh, this is um, this thing uh, in case of child marriage, child labors uh, you know dhubri is a very uh, place where cheap laborers are found in in guwahati also whenever you see there are uh, carpenters there are raj mistries all those mistries are uh, maximum are from dhubri so uh, and in the itabhatas also in the brick fields all those uh, laborers are from dhubri so the laborers sometimes uh, they move with their parents the parents go for doing uh, child uh, doing labor in the itabhata then they go with their children uh, with whole family so we have to prevent this at the transit places so how did we do uh, with the help of uh, village defense parties and with the help of uh, ngos uh, we put them in the railway stations and the bus stations especially the railway stations because the railway uh, the railway tickets are lesser also they can go to far far places so they verify their documents and all <coughs> they can identify those people who are going for this kind of things and then uh, those are counseled and sent back to uh, their respective homes so we can prevent uh, this um, the human trafficking also because uh, expert people they can find out this girl is not uh, any relative to the person who is taking her but she is taking by some one person uh, not known to that girl so <coughs> we can prevent at the transit places then identifying the places of demands then prevention at the source point uh, source point is that i told you that the drop out school drop out uh, whenever there is a school drop out of any girl child or any male child we have to uh, the school authority has to immediately inform to some authority either district administration or the or the police station so that we can keep a track of those girls Uh, so that the district education department or something they can motivate them and uh, ask them to join the school again or police can um, keep a track of those girls so that they don't go for child marriages uh, Rosie, or they don't uh, fall prey to any rose is just a minute sure. uh, sorry to interrupt uh, sorry to interrupt first of all uh, thank sure. you for the vivid uh, presentation that's fantastic it's sad uh, really really sad but you're doing a wonderful job since we are uh, running short of time i think i would request instead of me interacting with you i would request the participant to in, in, uh, interact with you right now uh, and thereafter if you wish you can leave okay sir i was all, I, there was only two sentences left it was good that you interrupted me sir uh, so i i think uh, there, uh, whether there are questions i i am ready to listen sir you help me you also answer <laughs> okay thank you <laughs> Ma'am, you finish out. Uh, somebody can read. Finish. Yeah, his presentation is over. I mean, the yeah, sense now like, everybody can ask questions. Like, uh, maybe you know we can, if uh, uh, Rosirani Sharma is ready to wait on. I know Dubri, mm -hmm. you are really pressurized. Uh, maybe we can have Babita Sakya and uh, the questions together. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 and uh, let us uh, we uh, do we have questions in the chat box or the questions can come up we can come up with babita sakya first what do you say luis as you say because yeah, you are I the think, uh, babita sakya can and since uh, since rozi can stay back uh, for a little bit more uh, i think babita can uh, uh, come in now yeah, and we sure. can take up the questions at the end yeah Thank so what the what is the decision like uh, we'll have the uh, session with bobita bobita ma'am yes that's what luis i just said okay. so, yeah so questions can come in the chat box and okay i'll request uh, kiran kayan uh, with luis sir's permission to go ahead with uh, uh, the introduction of bobita cycle a very uh, 
a very warm good evening to each one present here uh, where we are inspired with ideas and discussions around the ways that we can make our world a better place to live in it's my pleasure i got an opportunity to introduce our today's speaker who is elegance presents her like perfume which makes the whole gathering fragrant madam babita is ma llb by qualification she is state coordinator of child protection bachpan bachao andolan over to you ma'am <clears throat> thank you kiran ji good evening everyone uh, respected kalpana khan bajo uh, the organizer of this program respected uh, luis ensa the moderator of this program respected rojirani sharma ma'am uh, the speaker of this program and the, resp the respected participants from various places of the country i am uh, honored to have uh, uh, opportunity to be here today i am bobita suikya i am here on behalf of aspan basau andolan founded by kalas satarthi as a state coordinator of assam uh already uh, rojirani sharma ma'am has already very nicely defined the definition of trafficking uh, uh she has rightly explained that exploitation is the main ingredient of trafficking human trafficking and as kalpana khan ma'am said that uh, this, this is uh, related to many crimes like child labor child marriage uh, uh, child sexual abuse Uh, sexual commercial sexual exploitation uh, etc so these are the technical things there are many definition in the um, law books there are laws many laws relating to trafficking section 370 ipc defines trafficking uh, from uh, um, from 2013 earlier there was no specific definition of trafficking there was a challenge uh, but now we have a definition of trafficking so we can uh, define what is the um, what is the crime of trafficking it is a basket of crime it is an organized crime it is the most uh, profitable crime in the world uh, so that's all and also assam is uh, known as source of trafficking and now i we uh, generally baspan basau andolan work in the field level in action uh, we rescue victims from trafficking from child labor from child marriage etc uh, in assam uh, we also uh, whenever we get information from our sources then we proceed to uh, rescue the victim first with the help of police uh, this is our prime job and after that if we rescue the victim with the help of police then we follow up with the rehabilitation process of the victim as well as in the uh, trial um, in the, the trial court in the court uh, to convict the accused we also provide legal support so uh, in uh, in these activities in this all process we face some challenges first of all uh i just point out the challenges we are facing uh, in the field level uh, first of all it is identifying of cases uh, or uh, information of cases as rojirani sharma ma'am said that uh, people uh, do not understand do not realize cannot realize what is trafficking and they uh, think that it is like eloping case it is like uh, a child labor case it is like selmeris case but it leads to trafficking also so we do not uh, police or other stakeholders or any ngos do not get information immediately after the information information because people cannot identify what is trafficking this is a trafficking case people cannot understand this is the first challenge and the secondly uh, if uh, we identify a case we if we receive an information from our sources or police receives an information from uh, an informer that there is a there is happening a trafficking case what happen next sometimes uh, we are not able to register an fir we proceed we means i am saying the stakeholders 
who are working on it, like police and the other stakeholders, they proceed to rescue the victim first. Whenever they rescue the victim, they, as per the procedure, as per the provisions of the Act, they produce the victim before CWC and CWC restore the victim uh, to their parents. And when what happened to the accused? If police do not or cannot arrest the accused or do not register the FIR, then the victim do not get any relief. This is the next part. So FIR registration is a, one of the challenges because police also cannot identify, sometimes cannot identify that it is a trafficking case. This is a big challenge. Next, rehabilitation of trafficking victim. Whenever uh, police or other stakeholders rescue a victim, what happened to the next? There is a provision that is section 354 CRPC, which says that victim compensation to the victims, like trafficking victim, POXO victim, etc. But there must be a registration of FIR. And also after the completion of the trial, if the accused has been convicted by the honorable court, then the victim can get relief economic compensation and if there is a no FIR, if there is no trial, then the victim do not get compensation, economic compensation from DLSA. That is District Legal Service Authority is the one of the nodal agency to provide economic compensation to the victim in trafficking case. And the other rehabilitation like educational rehabilitation and social rehabilitation. It is looked after by the social welfare department. And uh, I, I actually, they are uh, here also one, uh, if uh, we have a person from social welfare department, uh, he or she will be the best person to uh, explain it, this, uh, this part, that what are the provisions for rehabilitation. Uh, rehabilitation, for rehabilitation of the trafficking victim after rescue from a trafficking case, the uh, social welfare department of a district should follow up the victim for economic rehabilitation, for educational rehabilitation, to link with the social security schemes of the government, to link, to enroll the uh, victim uh, with, uh, in schools if uh, she or he is below 14, or he or she if uh, below above 14, then uh, enrollment in the vocational training courses. So these, these are the process. But the challenge, the big challenge is that there are these at present, the laws which are relating to trafficking are not clearly or not sufficient for the rehabilitation process. So we, Baspan Basau, Andilan and Kela Satarthi Children Foundation is supporting Entry Human Trafficking Bill 2018, which is clearly mentioning the rehabilitation process of the victim. If the bill has been passed, then the victim will get the rehabilitation immediately after the rescue from a trafficking case. So um, uh, these are the challenges. And uh, there are also, um, as um, Rosirani Sarma men uh, uh, mentioned, uh, yes, uh, from Assam, there are lots of big, uh, children and other women has been trafficking to Haryana, Gujarat, and other states of Assam, as well as in the neighboring states of North, uh, in, uh, North uh, of Assam, like uh, Sikkim, Arunachal Pradesh, uh, etc., Maghalaya. And uh, what we suggest in this um, regard that uh, government of Assam should have an MOU with the neighboring states so that uh, police can investigate a case or rescue a victim whenever they get information immediately after uh, the incident uh, from the neighboring states. So there uh, should be an MOU uh, within the states, in between the states. 
So, and uh, the first cell is, which, is, which I mentioned that identifying, um, there is a challenge of identifying cases or if, uh, in challenge in, uh, get, in getting information from the uh, sources, uh, we can sensitize the, um, the village level community, the block level community, the panchayat level communities, and we can uh, make them understand what is trafficking. How, how, what, what is the uh, problem of trafficking? And we should, we can also strengthen the anti-human trafficking unit from police so that um, they can actively, uh, they are also, they are working on it actively, very actively in Assam. But yet, uh, if they coordinate, if their coordination, is, they coordinate with the um, ground level, uh, with the people uh, from the uh, grassroots level, so that they can get the information immediately after the incident. And also, uh, uh, we can also um, have some MOU, some guidelines or some uh, coordination with the departments uh, between police, RPF, SSB. The Spanbasa Andalan has an uh, has a MOU with RPF India in the entire country, and we work, we rescue victims. Uh, rescue trafficking victims from train uh, with RPF and also uh, uh, um, apprehend a uh, um, trafficker if we uh, can and, and then hand over to GRP and the local police. So if a pol a police has a, a strong coordination with RPF, uh, in the, uh, as SSB, the, uh, uh, or this uh, like like these organizations as uh, to register the uh, in registering the FIR. I'm focusing on registration of FIR because if the if one case has been registered, then only the victim gets uh, relief rehabilitation. So this the both are correlated. That's why I'm insisting. So um, they, they, these are the um, some um, highlights of the challenges we are facing in the field. And uh, also there are lots of case studies and case uh, in which we have been intervened and uh, success stories also success that means conviction of uh, um, accused and uh, um, proper rehabilitation, end-to-end -end rehabilitation of victim. There are many um, examples. Uh, uh, so these are the things and and also uh, in case of sensitization and uh, we provide we are working uh, to provide some trainings to the uh, stakeholders to the nodal agencies and we have partnership with NGOs in every district uh, for um, information or um, to provide legal support we have also appointed some uh, advocates from our side uh, to, um, uh, to advocate on behalf of the victim. So these are the things we are working in Assam as well in, in, uh, in other states of the country. So um, we also uh, we get support from all the nodal agencies uh, from the government uh, from the government departments from the NGOs and like uh, definitely uh, I have to thank to Rotary International uh, that they are also working in uh, very nicely in um, in this way and. Uh, um, and also thank you to all for inviting uh, for to this prestigious platform uh, for um, for the opportunity to uh, deliberate uh, some points from our side. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Pallavi Majizi. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Babita, madam, yeah, for I beautiful did. deliberation. Uh, now we'll. Uh, Danny, can you please once try for uh, playing that uh, video? Danny? Uh, do we have time for that, um, Pallavi? Uh, I think people would want okay, to leave. You will drop it. We will drop it, yeah. ma'am. Okay, yeah, okay, I think it's better we drop it. Uh, now we'll go we'll back to Lewis. Luisa, Luisa, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Luisa, sir, please, uh, um, sir, please, uh, uh, 
continue with the question and answer session. We have Samasri Madam. Samasri Ma'am? Samasri Ma'am? Yes, I'm here. I'm here. I was listening very intensely. Uh, Samasri Ma'am, uh, like uh, for, for a minute, you can, uh, like, uh, can you please put your views to us? Uh, I'm nobody to give views. All I can say is uh, congratulations to the two districts, uh, 3030 and of course 3240 for organizing this entire, you know, discussion because this is, these are things that people generally don't like to talk about. They want to put their head inside the sand. I, I personally have a friend from my school who did tremendous uh, work in Kathmandu. Her name is Ruchira Gupta. I think everybody knows about her. She's the one who, you know, kind of broke the silence first. And ever since then, she's become very famous and comes to Calcutta very rarely now. If she comes, she goes to Bihar and stays in her house over there. But she's doing tremendous work for women who are trafficked and then rescued. And I remember in 2008, we, we personally had a very good experience of getting to know what happens to the girls who are either, you know, taken away as, oh, she gets married to a man who was, who was never a husband because that man marries every day, takes the girls and sells them off somewhere. So this was in Moshidabad and we had uh, invited a lot of NGOs in, in Moshidabad who work against trafficking and believe me we were three ladies from my club who went there on invitation and it was in in the Rabindranath Tagore hall which is a very big auditorium there were so many women who had come and we were listening to their real life stories and it was like this that the police told us police department told us that uh, these girls are, you know, like it's set up that she's getting married. The parents know very well where she's actually going. But for the first three or four months, they send some money to the family. So they're happy. During the fourth or fifth month, when the money stops, then they go to the police department and they say, my daughter has been, you know, taken away or abducted or whatever. By which time the daughter has probably gone, been sent to Dubai or some other country where they cannot trace her. So some of these girls were traced and brought back and one girl came up to us. She couldn't even walk. She was beaten so badly and she was crying. And she said, when I, when my parents found me, when the police brought me back to my parents' house, I'm not allowed to enter inside the house. I am chained to the place where the chagol is kept. Chagol means the goats. So she's staying with the goats and they just throw some food at her. She was saying, save us, save me, save me. We were just crying at that point of time in 2008. I had no experience. It was my first experience. It was such a shock coming out of the cocoon of, you know, living happily in a house, working in a working uh, environment and going and doing rotary work. I then realized why we are in rotary and why we really, really need to, you know, delve more deeply into things that are happening around us and start doing something about it. So y'all have done a very good thing by talking about all this. Both the speakers were excellent. Thank you so much. I got a lot of things to now sit and write. Thank you, Pallavi, for asking me to speak. I talk too much. And yeah. Kalpana Didi, have, have, uh, have you done your uh, RIPR's job? Is, is it over? Uh, no, it isn't. I'm going on the 16th. Oh, okay. best of luck to you. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. I went to Kolanda's district. Yes, 17 to 19, 3 to 5 0. So, but yeah. I'll be going to Chandigarh. Yeah. You're going to Chandigarh. Oh, 3 to 5 0 is doing it in Chandigarh. Chandigarh, yeah. yeah. I thought it was Rajas no. Aoudis. <laughs> Sorry for the interruption. Thank no, you, no, it's fine. <laughs> Thank you Samusri. Yeah. Luisa, what were you? Luisa, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. I'm here. So, uh, my question is, uh, like, uh, my questions are already rather answered. Like, if a person says, uh, uh, out of fear that, of fear, that uh, they have consented 
you said it is illegal already. You and Moji ma'am already said that it is illegal, right? And child labor. Yes. How many of us present in the meeting actually have? हम लोगों ने खुद बंद किया कि नहीं हम लोगों ने खुद खुद बंद किया बंद सर लुइस आर यू देयर या ये या कैन यू प्लीज रिपीट द क्वेश्चन अगेन कैन यू प्लीज रिपीट द क्वेश्चन अगेन द क्वेश्चन इज सर इफ समवन सेज that it is uh, the person has given consent to this uh, like uh, like if a girl is going with a person and she says it is consented uh, out of fear like it is, it is illegal right if they have given consent also uh, underage can't give a consent to such things even the parents can can you give me sir Yes, yes, yes. So that's the answer. Actually, you have already given the. Yeah, answer. he has already answered. So, uh, uh, any any consent, yeah, um, uh, any consent given at the duress is no consent at all. So the when the victim is produced before uh, uh, the competent authorities, the courts or jgb or whatever uh, that is when the judge or the competent authority uh, will decide whether it is a consent or not but it is a clear case of the consent actually being taken under due so that's not a consent at all yeah sure. uh, and colleague yeah sir Uh, yes, we, uh, I don't think there are any questions in the chat box. No, I, no, no questions are there. Uh, but uh, I want to know, you know, like, uh, can, I, can I, Luis, can I ask a question? Yeah. yeah. Uh, actually, we have a representative. We have a represent two representative Assam Police. Then we have a leading, uh, you know, NGOs representative who is working in this field. So I just wanted to know. you know how does because shamushri was also saying you know that in 2008 she realized about this i think prabha ji would also uh, you know put in your views uh, now where does rotary fit into this see because uh, you know like uh, the ngo bachpan bachao or any other ngo uh, who is working in this field would be working with the police departments of the respective states now you know like how do you think you know we fit in i would like to know from them that uh, you know like uh, they are the, the, this is a huge problem where there are so many aspects to it but how can we be of any help as an you know as an international ngo which is very committed to uh, the dignity of man of people so how do we fit into this order and uh, thank you ma'am uh, for that uh, question that's very very relevant uh, let me uh, if i have time let me take a little bit of uh, like uh, take it a little bit further you know as far as police is concerned this is not to like wash of hand but i'm telling you the reality uh, reality on ground or what we are interested with as law enforcing agencies we are interested with primarily preventive action which means in in you know rotary's uh, peace curriculum it is called negative peace negative peace so what means would basically means is you was you are basically uh, doing not not addressing the root causes the structural part of it like why is it happening for example whatever the trafficking cases happening and there after the consequences why there's so many reasons root causes supply factors demand factors and things like that let's the case of poverty let's take it as poverty being one of the reasons now even if the police goes and gets these people uh, behind lockup rescues the victim 
does the police actually address the real issue? No. He cannot do anything about the policeman cannot do anything about his uh, financial part of it. Though there is a compensation part, but that's not enough and the government definitely cannot compensate uh, to a degree that a victim would have liked to. So where is the issue? Issue is in the something called the what we have learned in peace curriculum is something called positive peace. Now, what is positive peace? That's a long story. So where is the problem? Problem is the structural part of it. Structural part of it would mean, let's say uh, the government is trying to, or is giving some benefits to the people, but it's not reaching out to all the signals, which, which is why these uh, crimes are happening. Now, is the police doing its job? Yeah, it is doing its job, but that's not enough. It has to be beyond that. Now, what the Rotary can do? I'm coming to that. You know, the one of the most primary thing we can do, uh, Rotary can do is try to get this peace education right from the primary level. Right from the primary level. So primary school level. So that's when people begin to understand. At least uh, even if the person has uh, not continued up to class 10 and the, the student gets to know about what happens actually, the crimes that happen in terms of trafficking. So that's one thing I think we all can focus right to the government, try to get the curriculum in a manner that the government can bring in those curriculum into the schools. And then later on colleges and universities and things like that. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Uh, ma'am, is it the right time for saying vote of thanks? Luis has very rightly said, actually. Um, yeah. I am Kedia here. <laughs> yes, Babaji. You have very rightly said uh, what is the role of Rotary. And one more thing I think which we could do is to see that uh, to prevent the dropouts from schools and to yes. bring them back to the uh, regular schools. That can be one uh, job which Rotary can do. <laughs> uh, yeah, yes, yes, yes definitely, yes. yes. Um, actually, sometime back, you know, after schools uh, reopened after COVID, uh, I had uh, spoken to a principal of a school, uh, of a girl's school in Dibruga. It's the oldest <laughs> girl's school. And uh, she had mentioned that the government wanted the list of uh, girl students, you know, who had dropped out of school. And uh, they had to send people to the you know, surrounding areas, you know, because it caters to a large area and they had to have a record of all the girls who had dropped out of school. So perhaps, you know, we can also be a part of it. You know, there were not many who dropped out, but you know, yeah. those, uh, those who drop out, you know, they are on their own. And it is very likely that uh, they would go into early marriage. And I think in particularly in Assam, uh, Rosie Rani had mentioned about it that the last uh, two days she hasn't been able to sleep. And, uh, you know, early marriage is something which is there in the country. It is quite alarming. Uh, early marriage is, uh, uh, you know, 31 percent, I think, in the entire country. And uh, Dhubri uh, in Assam, and uh, in Assam, sorry. And uh, maybe the national is about 27 or so. And in Dhubri district has the highest uh, of dubious uh, uh, reputation now of, I think, about 50%. So, you know, like um, it's a uh, very proactive action has been taken by the government. And this would be something which should be deterrent uh, because all these things, as we have found out, are yes. so interconnected, right? So perhaps with our Rotary India Literacy Mission, when we talk about uh, getting children back to school, you know, and also perhaps teaching skills. Maybe, you know, we can do vocational training in a bigger way so that they are, you know, engaged in their own communities, in their own areas, and they don't have to fall into that trap of getting a job somewhere outside, yeah. and which doesn't happen all the time. Right. Thank you. Right. Very correct.
uh, uh, Rosilani, ma'am, are you there? Like, do you want to add something? Rosilani, ma'am? I am there. Yeah, Mr. yeah, yeah. Yes. So sweet of you, so kind of you. Can you please, uh, like, uh, can you please add the last I am signing, signing my files and again slipping yeah, 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 also. Uh, like, uh, recently <laughs> so, you talked about like 132 people were uh, uh, arrested because for the child marriage or something, no? Child marriage, uh, recently it was. Uh, yes, yes. Yeah. Can you please share this thing? Uh, experience like what you are going through. Like you are right now in the Duburi and South Salmara district. Uh, there are two districts here, uh, Duburi and South Salmara. Here the uh, issue is like um, uh, all these arrests we have made is uh, these cases were not reported earlier. All these cases were not reported earlier, although there were uh, child marriages uh, took place, but not reported. And we got the information from the National Health Mission data where we could find that um, many underage girls, they uh, they became pregnant and they went to the hospital and they did, they, they denied uh, abortion also because it is uh, against religion or something. So the the, the very young age girls, they, they started becoming mothers. And also uh, for those people whom we picked up, many people came to the police station uh, bringing the certificate. They look at, look at this, this is my certificate. Uh, the, the girl was already 18 years of uh, age, so uh, this person wow. should be released. Uh, but then when we verified at the prime, uh, the health center or from where the certificate was issued, it was all fake. So <laughs> there are uh, people like, and then again we started getting information that um, marriages are taking place and uh, they are faking all the documents and making the girl over 18 years of age and then uh, like they are getting married um, like Dhuburi is uh, kind of that place and uh, the education is a is a main thing poverty and education um, uh, we should give them proper education and uh, so yes we are trying uh, not uh, all the stakeholders should uh, uh, all the stakeholders, stakeholders should, should go together actually, only police cannot do anything here. Education department, district administration and other uh, the other uh, the social work department and even Rotary also. Uh, we can go hand in hand together and all the stakeholders can do their jobs in their own respective places Then this minutes will be. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you ma so much ma'am. Like uh, you wanted someone's phone number, I think. Uh, uh, you can, you can do I got it. Got it. Yeah. So, yeah. I got the number. For time. Yeah, tell Thank me, you. tell me. Rosie, ma'am. Yeah, tell me. No, I got the number. I got the number already. Okay. And okay. congratulations to you. And, you know, our best wishes because I know you're posting in Dubri at this moment, point of time is a very, very difficult one. And you have got to spend more sleepless nights. Uh, so, but you are doing a great job. And this is Something which would be helpful for the future for young girls. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Thank you yeah. so much. Yes. Yeah. So uh, today uh, I should conclude here, like thanking everyone, especially PDG Kalpana ma'am for giving this opportunity. And Luis, sir, thank you and Hassoff and uh, Rosie Rani ma'am. It is a big privilege for me to have you here. And uh, uh, Bobita ma'am, it's a really a uh, like uh, experience for me to hear all the laws and like where how our madmi should approach uh, such cases. And I uh, thank all the Rotarians and uh, especially Dr. Danny for uh, arranging this webinar. It takes all the effort always uh, for us and uh, I thank all the Rotarians and non-Rotarians who took the pain of, uh, uh, to, who took the time out and shared and uh, of, of course they have gained knowledge but mm -hmm. it is always partial before we get a scope to learn and do something from Rotary uh and uh, from our rotary club so thank you again thank you ma'am thank you everyone and thank you Pallavisi. thank you ma'am and thank you everyone and nice meeting to you
Yeah, thank, thank you, you Pallavi. Uh, Dr. Pallavi, thank you, Danny. It's been a long time since we and thank you, uh, both the resource persons, and thank you, everyone who participated. I think thank we you, should sir. have thank it uh, a little bit more often. Thank you. Yeah. Thank, thank, you, you, sir. thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Yeah. Dr. Danny, please. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank Danny you, everyone. has always yeah. been such a great support. <laughs> I, I also had a good time, yeah. <laughs> I hope something positive comes out of it, right? Yes. Yeah. We need to give it a serious thought. Why so, does it uh, Danny, you can continue. I have, a, I, I have a very long connection with Luis, sir. <laughs> I also from Tespur. Yeah, he, he, he used to be our teacher in uh, when I was in class 8. Oh, oh, oh I didn't know that. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'm proud of you. <laughs> very, very proud of you. Thank you, Liz, sir. We are also very proud of you, yeah. <laughs> you, yeah. One, of you, one of you make us very proud. Louis, sir, Bobby, the madam, and really, uh, like, Rosie, ma'am, really, I was, like, stunned, surprised to hear all those experiences. Umaima was In great. Fact, you know, Incidentally, uh, we have worked actually with Bhavita uh, only after I had an interaction in the afternoon. I got to know that we have met many times. We have worked together. We've attended meetings together. So thank you, Bhavita. And Umaima, uh, Rotarian Umaima was uh, fantastic. I mean, the way she presented the whole thing. And it's really interesting. It's good that uh, Rosie Rani said next time she should be the speaker. <laughs> <laughs> Doing good work too. Yeah. So, anyway, I mean, it's good that people have. By the way, uh, by the way, Roti would be happy to know uh, uh, that last uh, now this is uh, what is happening. G twenty happening here uh, in Guwahati in Assam, and I had the opportunity of uh, speaking in a couple of colleges like Anjo College and IIT Guwahati. So I mentioned Rotary and how uh, actually Rotary helped me to build peace. And now that I'm working with ex-former militants, uh, how we are bringing them uh, to uh, come to terms with whatever uh, issues that uh, we have or the government has. And so it was wonderful. Uh, it is because of what you have done for us, uh, we've been able to go to the youth and talk on different forums. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Hope we can reach out to you whenever we need. He's been very Definitely. active behind the scene in getting young people to lay down arms. And incidentally, this happens to be the Peace and Conflict Month in Rotary. The Peace and Conflict Month in Rotary. So it's so good that this evening we had two peace scholars with us besides the others. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, yeah. Bye bye. Thank you. So, every thank month, you. I think uh, Pallavi will be arranging, uh, you know, different interactions, right, Pallavi? Yeah, I'm trying, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> good, good. <laughs> I, I want to, I am a very strong feminist, and <laughs> I'm trying my best to give. <laughs> yeah. It's not only, I mean, we need the support of men too, and here I'm glad that the you know, one is a moderator and the others have also stayed back and given this necessary support. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Thank Special you. thanks to the gentleman present here. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. of course, Danny. <laughs> okay. Danny, no, no, the topic I'm itself is such that it, it involves, the topic itself is such that it actually, uh, you know, affects all of us. Not only yeah. about, not only about one gender or anything. Uh, this is something that concerns all of us here. Yeah. So, yeah, and it was very good, you know, interesting listening to all those uh, real life stories happening behind. Uh, yeah. I mean, what uh, Rodi, Rosirani is doing in yeah, uh, yeah. the kind of things that the uh, Assam police is doing. We, 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 we hardly ever come to know of it, but uh, this, this things kind of, yeah, make us so proud about the whole thing. Yes. Getting goosebumps. Yeah. When she was yeah. talking. Yeah. Oh, that really was man. a good experience. Yes. Yeah. There's yeah, so yeah. much of hard work, you know, you <laughs> yeah. go and find out people in another state and there are so many people from the Northeast, particularly from Assam who have been, you know, who are in different states and interacting with the police of those states, 
getting the information and getting them here yeah, is so difficult. Getting them and after that is the after doing all this paid work, if their families do not accept uh, yes. the yes. They usually the don't. They usually don't. Yeah, they what, think that what they are tainted. Yeah, what Shamashri Vam said, that is the saddest part actually. And yeah. uh, uh, maybe, you know, we can be in touch with the police and yes. here maybe we can step in after they are brought in and if yes. they yes. are, if they can assimilate in their own homes, it's good, well and good. Uh, maybe they can be kept in, in some home. But after that, you know, like uh, I, in Nepal, we are trying, you know, even the psychological counseling is very important after anyone goes to that kind of a traumatic experience. So maybe we can, you know, talk, uh, you know, with the uh, with the administrators, with the police. And, you know, in, because, uh, you know, definitely we can do a little bit. Uh, you know, we can at least uh, touch at least a few lives. And then we learn in the process ourselves how to go about it. You know, in, in uh, Kolkata, uh, the last police commissioner we had, he was my batchmate from Presidency College, Roman Mitra. He came to one of my, another organization where we are all women organization. He came there. He showed us videos of how he busted uh, these, uh, you know, these things which happened. The girls are taken out from Bangladesh, Nepal and West Bengal and they are taken into Bombay first mm -hmm. and how they did this uh, operation it was like a you know very secret operation and these girls they are put into a, a house a, a, which has you know like the girls have to crawl into the room they don't even have they can't stand up because two, they've made two levels so the girls just go there and sit or lie down and mm -hmm. they are like they, they can't see the sunlight outside or anything mm -hmm. They psychologically mold them and then they take them out. And that was the time he busted one. So that was one. And then he showed one, another yeah. one, which was done in West Bengal. And he has done a lot to change this whole thing. So if ever you need any help, you know, to hear some more things or to understand some more things, I could give you his number. He's my batchmate and he's very, very... He is, writes still, uh, is he still the police? He, he has got an extension from our chief minister. So, uh, so we must work with him. We must take his name. Ma'am, uh, ma uh, we have Shakuntala Raha, ma'am. So oh, yes, you have. Ma uh, thank you for joining us. Are you there? Shakuntala, yeah, yeah, I saw her. Shakuntala, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, Actually, Samashri, what you have said. Yes. Uh, same video we have, you know, on Kanya Satyarthi going into the. This is oh, yeah. about three minutes, four minutes. If you want to see, you know, that can, I think, uh, Danny or someone else can play it. If you want to see, that's, uh, you know, it's it'll be very short. Three, I was minutes. I was at the convention when he spoke all about that child with the banana. And, she yeah, yeah. The banana. <laughs> and when the, you know, I he peeled the banana skin. Then the child realized how sweet the banana was. <laughs> Just imagine. Just imagine. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. Thank you, Thank you, you that, that was a Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so Calcutta. much. Thank you. Uh, Danny? Yeah. You can patch up now. Okay. So I'll, I'll end the meeting here. Yeah. Thank you, everyone, for and being here. And with a hopeful uh, note that we'll give it a serious thought and do a little bit. Yeah. Right? Yeah, thank you so much. Good day. No, yeah, like uh, when Pallavi gets behind something, she, she uh, usually <laughs> does the best, you know, complete it fully. <laughs> I see my good friend Uma Devra. She was a member in uh, Rotary Club of uh, Dibruga. And she's a she member is, since a couple of years now in uh, Guwahati. But it's nice when, you know, we have members joining in the new places wherever they are. She has been in Guwahati for some years now. Yeah. Yes, Kalpana, I was just about to speak about this matter. There's a house in Guwahati in Rukmani Nagar. One yeah. porna lady, she is taking care of the girls who yeah. are who have been rejected by the families after being rescued by the police and the department, um, this group. So she is taking care, but then she doesn't allow anybody outsider to go inside the house and she's giving them vocational training and then let them start their own work and earn their money to for the livelihood. Mm -hmm. She's really doing a very good work there. 
And so she is from some other country? Yes, she is from another country. Okay, okay. That's a great thing that she's doing. Uh, she's been doing since last many years and very sincere about it. She is. Okay, okay. That's great. Anyway, uh, it's, it yeah. seems that, Thank you know, we are all thinking about it, uh, you know, in a very serious manner and we have got gathered a lot of food for thought <laughs> and um, I hope something positive turns out of it and we have discussions with the respective governments and Samashri, I think, you know, since 3240 also comes uh, in, uh, part of it comes into, uh, within, uh, part of it is in West Bengal. Uh, so, uh, obviously, we could take the help of your good friend, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Danny will have to wind up the meeting. Thank you so much. Good night, everyone. Good night. Thank you, Kalpana Ji. <laughs> thank, you, thank you for joining. Yeah, yeah. Both Luis and Roji Rani have been good support for us after completing their yes. scholarship. Yes. They have been participating wherever we need them. Right, right. And uh, they have done the short term course, but uh, they have uh, yes. you know, got a lot from the course. Right. And sometimes you find that people who have done the long one also, you know, they don't talk about Rotary much. Yes. But yes. they are so committed, uh, you know, yes. to. Uh, so grateful for what we want actually yeah and luis has actually always been uh you know in the uh in the background he was there in delhi also last year and a lot mm -hmm. of he was working to get the adivasi uh you know militant groups to lay down yes, arms. Yes, and yes, a large yes, number yes, of them yes, have yes. laid down uh -huh, no, no, yes. so he's an indispensable part of assam police mm -hmm. <laughs> right <laughs> Uh -huh. Okay, Danny is uh, Danny is packing up. I think uh, we had a nice time, and we hope to meet soon. <laughs> Thank you yeah. so much. Next Thank month. you. Good night. Good night. Uh, good night. I'm ending good night. the meeting. Uh, I'll put up the recording in our YouTube channel, the district YouTube channel. Okay. Yes. Bye, Pallavi. Bye. Good night. Okay. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.